my name is Elizabeth Harrin from the blog The Money Files. Today I want to talk about make or buy decisions. Now this is something in procurement where you need to weigh up what's best for your project. Sometimes you need to consider is it better that we make something ourselves in-house with the resources that we have or we buy it in from an external supplier or a contractor. So that's a decision that you're going to perhaps have to take for every project because you may or may not have the, the skills and the experience and the resources in-house to do everything you need to on your project. So let's have a look now at the advantages and disadvantages of making and buying and then you can perhaps weigh up what you need to do for yourself. First let's look at the advantages of making something in-house. So let's say we're building a software product. You might have to upskill your team members to allow them to do the software uh, coding themselves but that's probably a good thing. It gives them the skills in the long term. If you make something yourself, you also avoid procurement costs. You won't have to set up contracts and you'll avoid any legal costs associated with that as well. Generally, making things in-house is a lot cheaper than uh, buying in a product from a third party. However, there are some disadvantages to spending time and effort making things in-house. For example, your resources could be better off doing other project tasks for you, which would also help move the project forward. You could find that uh, they're not using their core skill set, so the end product quality might not be as good as if you used someone who is an expert in that particular area, and you might find it takes them longer as well. If speed of delivery is a concern for your project, you probably will find it faster to buy in the expertise, whether that's a person who's got the skills they need to do the job, or whether that is the finished product itself. Now let's talk about your other option. You can of course use a third party contractor or a specialist company and buy in whatever it is that you need. Typically you'll find this to be a lot faster. You'll be contracting with someone who is an expert in that particular area so you're expecting to have a good quality result. You could also find that um, they will project manage that piece of work themselves so that's a less of an overhead for you. So generally it is an easier option if you can throw money at something and buy in the product or the, the experience that you need. Now let's look at the disadvantages of buying in something. Typically it's more expensive because you are paying for that expertise and probably for the speed of delivery. You'll also find that you lose some control. Potentially it depends how you work with that contractor or third party but you might find that it's not as easy to control the work as it would do if the resources worked directly for you and they were part of your existing project team. You're not investing in the skills of your own team, so if you're building something that would need ongoing support, you may find yourself tied into that third party vendor to buy that support in the future if you can't get the skills of your team um, skilled up in time. And finally, setting up contracts does take a while. You might find that the legal discussions haven't been factored into your project plan and that could delay you overall. Whatever you decide to do, whether you decide to make a product or buy in some skills and expertise, you now know the pros and cons of each of those options and I'm sure you can think of other things yourself. So really you need to take the decision that is best for you and the project. Thanks for watching, I've been Elizabeth Harrin from the blog The Money Files and there's plenty more videos about financial e events on projects on my YouTube channel, so why not take a look?